Ten years ago, California voters approved $3 billion to create a state stem cell agency, the California Institute for Regenerative Medicine. What has the agency accomplished? And would Californians vote to give it $5 billion more in 2016? We asked baseball fans who were on their way to a game near the agency's headquarters. We both voted for it. We were for it. We wanted it to happen. But I feel like California is doing a good thing. But we should keep funding that. I'm not vehemently opposed to it, but I'm kind of opposed to it. I just, I don't know, I don't know if we were meant to go in this direction. I voted no. I'm a retired physics teacher, and I think that's one of the best investments we've ever made. And I hope they invest $15 billion. I'd vote for it in a second. I think that's way too much money. But honestly, I'm not well educated on stem cells, so it might be worth it. Who knows? I don't know, I have no idea. I mean, schools need more money than... When the California Institute for Regenerative Medicine was first approved in 2004, there was very little federal support for stem cell research. California's unusual state funding strategy was a big boost for the discipline. People forget, in the early 2000s, there were very few cell lines we could work with. There were very few scientists who were trained in the field to work on it, and there was actually very little research funding. Um, I know that there have been ethical problems, um, but I think they're unreasonable. I think that it's definitely something that if it saves lives, then it's worth using. We don't have a cure yet that's been derived from embryonic stem cells, and I think we're a number of years away from having a cure. What we have, though, is a pipeline of new uh, drugs, be they uh, cells or chemicals, that have been derived from this research, which are being tested in humans now. And I'm pretty optimistic that over the next few years we will be seeing real uh, drugs that will change the lives of people. In 2016, voters will be asked to approve more money for the agency. You know, the NIH still doesn't fund stem cell research at the level that it needs to be funded. So having these other sources of funding have been still, to this day, essential to move the field forward. So will Californians vote for $5 billion more dollars in funding? Billion? Five oh, billion. Five billion. Oh, okay. Yeah. That, that sounds would be a lot fantastic. better. <laughs> I think they deserve a good amount of money. I would vote yes. Everybody is asking for money. Every and there's just so much of it. I don't know how I'd vote on that. I really don't. I love physics. Don't get me wrong. Baseball, physics, yum yum. But stem cells save lives. How can you top that?